Hello, I'm Mariana Danilovic with Ultra Live TV, and we're here at Digital Hollywood Fall 2010 with Ted Cohen, founder and managing partner of Tag Strategic. How are you doing, Ted? I'm doing really good. I just got here. It's really exciting. I stuck my head in the variety session, and looks like they're having a great time in there. It is fun. Yeah. So tell us about the just amazing developments in our space, our Transmedia, it's not even called digital media anymore by the time I turned around, right. in our transmedia space. Well, the most important thing that I've been stressing for the past couple of years, and it seems to be coming to uh, be true, is 10 years ago there was a shortage of media available uh, digitally through, through portable devices, through laptops, uh, now streaming to your TV set through things like Roku and Apple TV. There was a shortage of legitimate content. I mean, you could always find your 17-year-old nephew who could get you something, <laughs> but it was hard to get it legally. <laughs> now we have no shortage. We have over 10 million songs available on music services. We have hundreds of thousands of films available. We have TV shows available on demand. How do you navigate all of it? And so the real challenge and the real opportunity, I believe, over the next few years is for people who provide personalization, recommendation, curation, discovery, get me to stuff that I didn't know I want. Otherwise, left to my own devices, I'd be watching Law & Order for the rest of my life. What's another show like Law & Order that I might have never disco discovered? There was a show uh, a couple years ago called Raise the Bar that was a Turner show, a TNT show. I never got around to seeing it. But as I'm looking at Law & Order, if a window popped up saying, you can get Raise the Bar off of Netflix right now, or if I'm listening to old Van Halen and it pops up, something says, you know what, if you like Van Halen and you like um, uh, Poison, here's a new band that has that same visceral energy. That you, you mean like Genius? Yeah. Yeah. So like Genius. Uh, but, in Virginia. IGs. but I mean, there are companies like um, Echo Nest and Pandora and uh, Syntonetic, which has a product called Mood Agent, uh, tools like Shazam and Soundhound. Uh, we came home yesterday from San Diego and I'm in the car and there's music playing on one of this, uh, on an oldie station. They're not identifying anything. It was a hip hop oldie station. Yeah. I'm sitting there with my iPad clicking on Soundhound going, oh, that's Tupac. Oh, that's whatever. <laughs> and then it's making other recommendations to me of, oh, if you like this song by Tupac, you'd like these five songs. So much fun, isn't it? Hi, Jen. <laughs> anyway, that's my friend Jen Cooper up there. <laughs> Come on down, Jen there. Cooper. <laughs> but, um, you know, get me to stuff. It's easy for me if I like, you know, if I'm locked in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s to go back and listen to old Rolling Stones or to watch TV series that I used to like or movies that I know I like. I will pay for a service to get me to stuff that I didn't know I wanted, that I never discovered. Uh, it happened for me on, on Netflix with a show called Prison Break. I put in that I like 24. It recommended this show Prison Break that actually ran just before 24 for like five years. I never got around to watching it. I ended up over the next two weeks watching 80 hours of prison <laughs> break. Could have ended better, but it was a great show. It was a great show. Maybe they need to continue it on. Right. So these are the kind of things that I want to, these are the kind of things that I want. I want recommendation. I want personalization, but I don't want, if I put in that I like, uh, the example that I give years ago, there was a service called Music Match and you'd put in. You know, what do you like? I like the Rolling Stones. I like the Beach Boys. I like the Doobie Brothers. I'm dating myself, but whatever. <laughs> it would recommend the Rolling Stones to me. I don't want the Rolling Stones. Recommend something new. So as these systems are getting smarter, uh, how do I navigate all this? Also, what's available? There are services like Clicker, and there's another uh, website. I think it's called Frequency that all provide a curation of here's the massive content that's out there. Now we're going to help you manage the process. We're going to we're going to make it a little more, you know, tolerable. So you're about curation. I'm about curation, personalization, and discovery. And discovery. And do you think it's by the social social graph, or is it a combo? It's a combo. Echo Nest, good example. Echo Nest is a combination of uh, artificial intelligence about recommending based on similarities and then taking the social graph and recommending I'm holding hands with somebody while nobody's looking. Uh, it's, the com it's combining that with the social graph 
and seeing what are your friends watching, what are your friends listening to, and what they might turn you on to. So your friends become your tastemakers, you become their tastemakers. And everybody, um, you know, everybody connects through commonalities, through through new experiences. So it's good. It works for everyone. It works for everyone. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Sorry I give short answers. <laughs> we Thanks love very those. much. I'll talk Thanks, to you. Ted. Bye. Good to see you.